You may find yourself wanting to compare two groups on some dichotomous outcome. This is in contrast to situations where you have an interval outcome, in which case the two group mean comparison test is appropriate. When dealing with dichotomous outcomes, we are comparing proportions. In such cases, you will want to employ a proportion t-test. You will either use the two sample test for proportion or a two group proportion test, depending on how your data are entered. This video shows you how to run both. If your data are in a wide format, as seen here, each group is treated as a variable. We have two columns, one for the treatment group and one for the control group. A one indicates a person was cured, a zero indicates they were not. Our null hypothesis, of course, is that there's no difference between the groups in terms of the proportion of subjects cured. Our alternative hypothesis is that there is a difference. We may go further and specify that the treatment group is actually expected to have a higher proportion of subjects cured, allowing us to use a one-tail test of significance. To run the two-sample test of a proportion, one can simply type the following command. PR test treat equals equals control. So how would one get there through the menu system? Simply go to statistics, summary tables and tests, classical test of hypotheses, two sample proportion test. And simply enter your groups, treat and control in this particular case. And go ahead and hit OK. Now if we look at the results, under the mean category, we see the proportion of subjects in each group coded as one or cured, and the difference in those proportions. So we have 75% of those in the treatment group are cured versus 35% in the control group, with a difference of 0.4. Directly below the table, we find the null hypothesis that there is no difference in proportions between the two groups. And here we see how the difference is calculated. The proportion of people in the control group cured subtracted from the proportion in the treatment group that are cured. We also find the computed z-test, where z here equals 2.5426. And below that, we have the three possible alternative hypotheses. The two-tailed test of significance in the middle, for when one doesn't specify a directional effect, and the one-tailed test of significance on either side, for when one has specified a directional effect. We see that the two-tailed test of significance is significant, with a p-value of 0.0110. The one-tailed test, where we specify the treatment will result in a higher proportion of subjects cured, can be found on the right. Again, look at how the difference is calculated, and for the ordering of our groups, we are subtracting the control proportion from the treatment group proportion. Hence, the hypothesis here is that the difference should be greater than zero. Looking to the right, we see that that's in fact our alternative hypothesis. And we see a p-value of 0 0.0055, exactly half that of the p-value of the two-tailed test. Now, had we had our data formatted in the long format, as we see here, such as one might find with survey data, we would employ the two group proportion test. Here you can see that we simply have a column for group category. The first 20 here are ones for the treatment group, and the next 20 are zeros for the control group. And then a cure column, one for whether they are cured and zero if they were not. The command for the two group proportion test is simply PR test cure by group. Again, how would I get there through the menu system? You'd go to statistics, summary tables and tests, classical tests of hypotheses, two group proportion test. The variable name is cure, and the grouping variable name is simply group. And go ahead and hit OK. The results are, of course, the same. The difference in tests is merely semantic and based solely on how the data are formatted. So that's how you go about comparing two groups when you have an outcome that is dichotomous.